find out why you need a sock, WD-40 and disinfectant for your car and six other secret tricks for your car in winter in this short video, because every driver really should know these tricks in winter. For the first trick we need some Vaseline, because you can use this perfectly on your car in a very specific place. You're probably familiar with the following problem. You go out to your car in winter, want to open a door, but it doesn't really open. This is usually because the door has frozen shut when it was very cold outside. And the problem is that it usually freezes to the rubber. And you can actually prevent that with a little Vaseline, because all you have to do is apply a very thin layer of Vaseline to the rubber on the door once. This means you open all the doors on your car, grab some Vaseline on your finger or on a cloth and wipe it over the rubber seals. Make sure you grease them a little. There shouldn't be too much Vaseline, a thin layer is enough. This is because the Vaseline creates a barrier, water no longer sticks to it and the door can therefore no longer freeze in the future. There are also special sprays or general creams that you can use for this rubber door seal, however these are usually relatively expensive. However, a normal grease cream such as Vaseline is perfectly adequate for this purpose. At the same time you also maintain the rubber a little. What's more, you only need to apply it once just before winter and it should last the whole winter. Because the next time you go to your car the door will no longer freeze shut and you'll always be able to open it really easily. That brings us straight to trick number 2. Another thing that is relatively annoying in winter or generally in the cold season is when the window mist up from the inside. You constantly have to wipe them or turn the heating on for a long time to let the moisture escape. But there's an ingenious trick that you can use to fix this very easily. And all you need is cat litter and one or two socks. For this trick grab a sock and put it somewhere for example around a glass or a roll of tape. This will make it much easier to fill the cat litter. Now take conventional cat litter and start filling it into the sock. In the end the sock should be relatively full of cat litter, but you still need to be able to tie it at the top. Because we don't want the cat litter flying all over the car, so take the sock off the roll of tape again and tie a good knot in it. You can wrap a second sock around the first sock to make sure that all the cat litter stays in the sock and doesn't just fly around in your car. This makes it even more secure. Then tie another knot here and you're all set. One or two of these socks in your car should be enough to avoid this problem. And this is how you should use it in your car. The good thing about cat litter is that it attracts moisture. The windows mist up because there is moisture in the car. And so in future they will be drawn into the sock and will no longer remain in your car. As a result it should mist up much less frequently and much less often, if it does mist up at all. The best way to do this is to place the sock on the dashboard while your car is parked outside. When you are driving you can also simply throw it in a footwell or put it somewhere to one side and put it back in your car whenever you park somewhere. After a certain period of time you should of course replace the sock and fill it with new cat litter as it will no longer be effective if there is already too much water in the cat litter. In the event that you don't have any cat litter at home I have another ingenious trick to prevent the windows from fogging up from the inside. It's with the household remedy that you definitely have at home. But let's get to our next trick first. All you need is one of these freezer bags. It doesn't matter whether it's one with a seal or without. What you should do is pull it over your wing mirror, ideally over both of course. You can lose it here at the end or close it again with a rubber band. The advantage of this is that the water can no longer settle on the mirror and your mirror should no longer ice up. Before I have any more ingenious tricks for you, I'll show you what else you can do to prevent foggy windows if you don't have any cat litter in your home. Another good option is to spread shaving foam on your windows and all you need is a small amount of shaving foam. The best way to do this is to put it on a cloth. Then start by wiping the inside of your entire windscreen. The first step is to spread the shaving foam roughly. This means that you will see a lot of shaving foam on your windscreen. In the end it doesn't have to be as much as you can see in my case. A small amount is enough, because all we want to do is spread a very thin layer of shaving foam on our car windows. So you wipe over it really well until there is a thin layer everywhere. Then ideally take another side of the rack where there was no shaving foam and wipe over it again. In the end you will really get all the shaving foam off the windscreen again without leaving streaks on the glass. All you have to do is wipe long enough until you can't see any more of it. This means you don't have to use any additional water or wipe over again with a damp cloth. You have now applied a thin layer of shaving foam and this ensures that water can no longer adhere to it. This means that water vapor will no longer form. 
And as you can see when you're sitting in my car and the window starts to mist up at some point, my side windows absolutely don't mist up anymore. And that's simply because we've applied shaving foam here. And as I said, you can do this on all your car windows in future. They should no longer fog up in winter. After a certain time, however, the effect will no longer be fully effective and you have to reapply shaving foam. However, it's definitely a good solution if you don't have any cat litter at home as you're sure to have shaving foam in your bathroom and can use it easily. For the next step, you'll need a spray bottle because we want to make a very special mixture. To do this you need one part water and then three parts vinegar. Once you've put this into a spray bottle, you can screw the spray head back on, shake everything well and apply it to your car. I'll show you what it does in a moment. You should simply spray your windows with it so that there is a thin layer of it on the windows. Ideally you should do this in the evening. The advantage of this is that the mixture prevents your windows from freezing. You can therefore ensure that you no longer have to scratch in the morning. Another method to avoid scratching is to cover the windscreen. But what if you're not at home and don't have anything to cover the windscreen for example? Then you can use a bin liner. Cut it open once at the side and bottom so that you can unfold it fully. If it's big enough you can now place it completely over your windscreen, tuck it into the door and under the windscreen wipers and the windscreen will no longer freeze. But what should you do if it's already too late? Your windscreen is frozen and you don't have a scratch or you don't want to scratch it. I'll show you two ingenious options. For the first you should fill two hot water bottles with hot water, ideally without a fabric cover. Unfortunately I can't remove the cover on this one. If you can't take it off, you should definitely take it off and then place it on your dashboard. Ideally you should do this about half an hour before you want to drive off. After just 10 minutes I have a small layer free. I now place the two hot water bottles in the other direction so that they also dock on another side. Before I show you the end result, I'll show you another option. For this you should fill a bottle with cold water. It is important that it is really cold. You can now put this over your windscreen without hesitation. If the water is hot, the windscreen could crack. If the water is very cold, this will not happen. But as you can see here on my rear window, the ice melted immediately and disappeared. But the hot water bottles also worked well. Half an hour after I simply put them on the dashboard, you can see that the ice has practically disappeared and we can drive off again. What do you do when you go to your car and you can't put the key in because the lock is frozen? There are two ingenious tricks for this. If it's already too late, you can use hand sanitizer. Simply put one or two drops on your key. Because if you go to your car with it now, the alcohol will ensure that the ice melts away immediately. This means you can carefully put it in and then get it out again. And if you don't want the lock to freeze in the first place, there's another brilliant option. You should spray your lock with WD-40 beforehand. This also ensures that water can't stick to it and then the lock should no longer freeze. And have you ever used socks on your car? You should put them in a very specific place and you should use long socks for this because you can pull them over your windscreen wiper. The advantage of this is that the windscreen wiper can no longer freeze to the windscreen. This means that the next morning all you have to do is pull the sock off and the windscreen wiper is free. Would you like to learn 7 more tricks that every driver really should know? Then be sure to watch the linked video on the screen. Just click on the picture.